Recent news regarding the Matrix franchise has resulted in the creation of a theory about Matrix 4 that could explain the leaked photos and videos from the movie set. What if Matrix 4 is divided into two timelines, showing us the past and the present simultaneously? What if this new Neo is the first Neo from the real world before the Matrix was created? And what if Thomas Anderson was the creator of the first AI? and that AI took its creator's likeness to create the supposed savior. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. This new theory states that thanks to recent news about Matrix 4, there is the possibility that we will see a movie with two timelines. One in the past before the creation of the Matrix, and one in the present 20 years after the Matrix revolutions. And we have evidence pointing to that. The origin of the first true artificial intelligence, which created the race of machines that we see in the Matrix, has not yet been shown on film. If this theory is true, the plot of the sequel could be of the first programmer responsible for the creation of the first true artificial intelligence. This programmer being the first Neo, or Thomas Anderson. The one is an anomaly that manifested itself during the third simulation after the oracle added choice to the equation. After this new addition, the anomaly continued to reappear towards the end of each matrix cycle. We do not know if Neo's five predecessors were his clones, but again, if this theory is accurate, not only were they clones, but they were all born from the first programmer. The clues that could confirm that we might see this world before the machine war are the several leaks from the production. The Return of Trinity Actress Carrie Ann Moss's trailer was labeled Trinity slash Tiffany, indicating that we might see the life of Trinity before she became a red pill. A scruffy looking Neo walking the streets with long hair and a beard, not looking like the savior of humanity, but a normal Thomas Anderson who hasn't woken up from the Matrix. But the most important clue that this movie might have two timelines comes from the statement made by Neil Patrick Harris. The actor was surprised because the filming didn't feel rushed. It was, as he described, intimate. The director was using natural lighting on set, waiting for clouds to move out of the way of the sun. If you watched our previous video, then you would know that this is a complete 180 to how the original trilogy was filmed. The cinematographer from the previous trilogy stated the following, and I quote, To distinguish the Matrix from reality, from the Nebuchadnezzar and the pods, reality was given a cooler look, a bluer, more natural, less sickly look. The future in the film is cold. The sun is blocked out. There is no real warmth unless it is artificial heat, so that is why we went for a cool side. Whereas the Matrix, created by the computers, is a decadent, decaying world so it has a green hue. These are the two different colors, green and blue. The Matrix should make you feel sick, and in reality, you should feel a little more at home, but never comfortable. If you make it gold and warm, you know it is home, a safe haven. The other day I started using warm lights, and I did this unconsciously for the first time in Neo's bedroom. It just felt right that it should be slightly warm. As harsh as the bunk is, it is the only home he has got. End quote. In the original trilogy, Anne entered the Matrix. The use of green hue was to visually distinguish the simulation from the real world, where a blue hue was used instead. However, now it seems that the use of natural sunlight is the director's way of making the film feel more intimate. So either the visual philosophy of how the simulation is shown on film has changed, or all of the leaks that we have seen of Neo and Trinity in a modern urban location are not inside a simulation. The use of natural light may be what will make the real world look and feel real. But there is one problem. Keanu Reeves himself mentioned that Matrix 4 takes place 20 years after the last film. Yet the leaked images and videos clearly show a modern looking city. How can that city be the real world? Well, we already answered that question at the beginning of this video. There could be two separate timelines within the same movie. One before the Machine Rebellion, when the first AI was created, and another after the Matrix Revolutions. But why overcomplicate the story with multiple timelines? A few months ago, Lana Wachowski auctioned off a prop from the Matrix 4 set, the nameplate of the new hovercraft, the Nemozony. 
This is a sort of manufacturing plaque from the set of the New Matrix films. This was the name of the ship and this was the plaque like in the first one. So a new group of red pills are going to fly in a ship named after the goddess of memories. Now again, if this theory turns out to be accurate, the film with two timelines would work as follows. The film may begin with the red pills recovering Neo's body from inside a pod, explaining Keanu Reeves' look after he completed filming. Neo is boarded onto the Nemosyne, but he has no memories of his past. Remember that the machines once promised Cypher that they would erase his memories. Neo would then be retrained inside the construct, hence the footage of two people jumping off a roof of a building. At some point, Neo begins to remember not only what happened in the sixth simulation, but also what happened in the previous simulations. He might even remember what happened in the real world before the war. This way the movie will finally show us the other simulations and the real world pre-war. It might be revealed that Thomas Anderson and Tiffany were always destined to meet. They met each other in the real world before the war, and so they are reunited in every version of the simulation as Neo and Trinity, explaining Trinity's return, the intimacy of this movie, and the name of the hovercraft. But above all else, it would explain why Lana chose to use natural lighting in Matrix 4. Natural sunlight adds a warmth to the real world that is sometimes difficult to recreate artificially. Perhaps this is the only way she can truly show us the real world in the Matrix. A place where Neo is not the one, but still changed the world by creating the first true artificial intelligence. Hinduism and Buddhism were major inspirations for the Wachowskis when creating the Matrix, so the concept of reincarnation could be introduced in the new film. Maybe every version of Thomas Anderson was born to become a software programmer because the original was a software programmer. But there is the possibility that this movie could take place in its entirety during a training session in the construct. Opening Pandora's box, then nothing that happens in the Matrix is real. But that's for another video. But do you agree? Is the plot of Matrix 4 two different timelines? Will we finally see other simulations or maybe the past before the machine war? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.